attack sheds light on a network of communities that have existed for almost a century made up of Mexican Americans with dual citizenship who practice their own form of Mormonism. Joe Dana has been looking into why these people, who they are and what they say, why they say they aren't going anywhere. There are breakaway Mormon communities settled in Mexico. One of them is Colonia Liberan, situated in Chihuahua, Mexico, about a three or four hour drive from the U.S. border. The church is still the center of the town and people in LeBaron still believe that my dad was a prophet in spite of the fact that he was killed in 1972. That's Ruth Warner, author of The Sound of Gravel, a book about her upbringing in Colonial LeBaron, a place of big farms and big families. Most of the men work in the United States and the women raise their families in Mexico. That's how they make money. They're farmers as well. While Ruth was growing up, she watched outsiders move into their community. Brought in converts from all over the United States all over Mexico and, and some from Europe. As the town now mourns the loss of three women and six children in this roadside ambush, someone living there today says they don't want to leave. They want security and the ability to practice their faith. Many of us are, are from polygamous families. Lynn Warner LeBaron was closest to his niece, Ronita, who died Monday with four of her children in this charred car. We just want to be protected. Lynn lives part-time in Mexico. We're American citizens that live in Mexico. We want the Mexican government to protect us, and if they're not able to or not willing to for whatever reason, they need to allow us to bear arms and protect ourselves or allow us to bring the American government in to help us. Lynn says he was not aware of any recent dangers that the cartels had posed. Ten years ago, two of his relatives were killed in an extortion plot. Joe Dana, 12 News. Joe, thanks.